Hello and welcome back to Infinifactory. This episode will be Shell Propulsion Units. Let's see what is in store. Alright, they're getting fed in from there. It looks like they need to be welded and pushed into separate... That's scary. I, I'm afraid of this one. I can't believe I'm here on another planet with aliens. This is amazing, Claudia. Amazing! I can't get over it. The crash at Roswell, the lights over Lubbock, the sightings in Washington, D.C., all the way back to ancient times, Jerusalem and Rome. It was them. The pyramids. Stonehenge, Atlantis. Atlantis is real, by the way. It was all they're doing. It must have been. Look at this technology. It's just what was needed to move those massive stones. If only Claudia was here to see this. I mean, I can really easily do that one. Really easily do that one. Okay, I got I actually have an idea. Believe it or not, I actually do have an idea. But let's bring this out it's just so I have some extra room. It's maybe more than I need, but Now, what I'm thinking about doing is the same system here that we had in the last episode, with the little sensor right there, except I didn't actually select it somehow. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Nice, holy shit. We got a couple things we want to do here. Number one. I think I need block again. Okay, number two. Okay. If this were a single block, I'd be done already, but it's not quite right. Okay, now I, I, got an, I, have, I still have a, an inkling of an idea here. We just have to execute this the way I want to. So, Let's test this first, make sure it's doing what I want it to do. So we'll push these three, that'll trigger that sensor.
The only real question is the timing of it. Mm. All right, all right. Now this is okay. This is still okay. I think. Just confirm that that works. One, two, three. Alright, that does work. Which is okay. I can live with that working. So I'm still working on ideas here. Now, I think this is going to be one where I have it way too complex. And we're going to end up with a bad overall score, but the job is going to be done. That was actually already facing the way I wanted it to, which is cool. Okay, this one... think we want to work in like this. I believe that's what we want. And honestly, we could probably I don't see a good reason these can't be connected like that. So that gets pushed. Okay. Put one of those there. Oh no, that doesn't need to happen. Does it? Yeah, let's just bring this out just to get away from all that hassle. Then we'll put this here. And I guess the best way to do this would be like that. Attach a nice little welder there. And then do another one over here again we don't need the whole thing we've learned that you only need one conveyor going to it and that I think that'll work let's let's go run on it see if it does so to send the three down once that gets triggered, it sends that. That turns it off. They didn't get welded together. Okay, that's that's problem one. Problem one, they didn't get welded together. So, we do actually need the full conveyor system.
Okay, let's give that a go for now. <clears throat> Just make sure that part of it is working. actually really close to success here. It doesn't look great, but I think it's actually pretty good. Uh, we just need to turn that off. And I put this here. And I think that'll do the job. Just, uh, God damn it. Place it, turn it. Just like that. I think that's it. I think that's the only correction that needed to be made. <clears throat> I find it hard to talk through these ones. But, uh, assuming this works, we'll be doing a talk through. There you go. Perfect. Alright, talk through time. So, th this is simple enough. They drop, and we bring them down. Uh, I could make this more compact, use less blocks, and get a better score, but, you know, I've never been too worried about that sort of thing. Okay, for the start of it, just the first three blocks come down into this delay system right here with a sensor. Once the third block gets there, Stage one happens. One, two, three. Okay. So as soon as that happens, it's going to trip that sensor, which runs this way and pushes this block over to here, which is going to trigger that sensor. Okay. So that block gets pushed. This sensor gets triggered. This sensor does two things. It will now push this block onto that conveyor. And it will also push those three forward. So just run that, boom. All right, they both, they're both getting pushed. A couple things happen now, and this is the last bit of it. All three of these blocks get welded together so they can continue down the line. And here, this block hits this conveyor, which puts it next to this block, but it will be, a, it'll be two steps behind. So we've had to put a delay in here, where this block will wait until this block gets here, they get welded together, and they go down the line. And that is it. Send them down. Boop, boop. One, two, three goes in, pushes that block out, that block pushes that block, and that block, they get welded together, bam. Very nice. Very pleased with that. Uh, still got a little while to wait. <laughs> I like that one. Uh, like I said, we could have brought block score down quite a bit. But, uh, as with Shenzhen, you know, I'm more concerned about getting it done than optimizing it. And maybe we could have some fun, you know, going back through and optimizing things, but that's not something I have tried yet. Uh, maybe in the future I will give that a shot. But for now, thank you all for watching this one. I hope I see you again on the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.